kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Playoffs? 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 Yes, Coach Mora, I'm talking playoffs. Tonight, they conclude here at West Campus Greenfield, where the fourth seeded LCFC face off against the third seed Goldnader FC in the men's outdoor soccer B League Championship. Before we get to the action tonight, let's show you how each team made it to this point. Goldnader FC cruised to an easy 4 0 victory over Atletico Chelitón in the opening round of the playoffs, setting themselves up for a matchup against heavyweights and number two seeded overall Gandalf FC. Both teams were hungry to claim their spot in the final, but Golinator was the one who got off to the quick start with a very swift counterattack. Right? A quick dash across the field, a nice pass there, another pass, whoop, whoop, and a great save by Pablo Valdez. Unfortunately, that's as bright as it got for Gandalf FC. Golinator used a couple of beautiful passes to set up their goals. A lob here, right before the half, to get their first on the evening. They opened up the second half in the same fashion with a beautiful pass here to set up their second goal, which was all they needed to put away Gandalf FC. I got the chance to catch up with Gandalf FC's team captain, Nico De La Rosa. Nico, coming in as a two seed, someone has said you were favored to win the championship. What happened in that semifinal? Yeah, you know, the semifinals was a good game. We got off to a slow start, and uh, Golinator got two early goals, and after that, it was really hard for us to come back. We were a little depleted as a team, and they just outplayed us. All right, thank you for your time, Nico. Thank you. LCFC also skated into the second round with a 2-0 victory over fifth-seeded Loose Off the Goose, which pitted them against the top-seeded FC Compost. We pick up the action in the first half, tied 1-1, when Compost scored to break the deadlock. LCFC responded with a goal of their own to tie it at two apiece, but a penalty kick before the half would send Compost to the break with a 3-2 lead. LCFC came out firing in the second half, netting the game-tying goal, and would sink a penalty kick with just three minutes remaining to solidify their spot in the championship game. As the final game of the season kicked off, tensions were high and defense was tight, until an LCFC striker created a little space with some shake and bake and hammered home the opening goal. A big save kept Golinator from falling further behind, but missing two consecutive free kicks proved to be fatal. LCFC capitalized with one more goal to put the game away. With LCFC's 2-0 victory over Goldnader FC, it marks the first time that a team has finished with a losing record during the regular season and went on to win the championship. That's something for other teams to think about around the league as they regroup, rebuild, and get ready for next semester's campaign. If you or someone you know would like to join the Intramural Soccer League, my sources have confirmed that open registration is the first two weeks of the spring semester. From me and everyone at the Gator Sports Network, I'm Kyle Robinson. Happy holidays.